Så kvar det vi! Så kvar det vi! Jag är Mornish. Och jag är brother Angus. And we are doing the Barbara Fing Way. So today we are starting the Silk Valley Way. Angus did a little bit of it yesterday. A little bit of it yesterday. It's hard to know exactly where it starts, but I think it starts near Clanalis House. So or I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, the Silk Valley Way brochure suggests that it starts at a bridge just as you're entering Clanalis House yeah. over um, where Angus was doing yesterday. So it was a lovely section I did yesterday, a uh, little bit I did, uh, starting a nice little taster. Um, but the weather was also a lot nicer yesterday as well. It's absolutely foul today. Yeah, it's day for ducks. Yeah, so we're a bit mad. We're not ducks. Um, but anyway, yeah, sure, look, we'll see what we got on. Probably won't film too much because the camera will get soaked and destroyed. Um, so just use your imagination to fill in the gaps. Oh, there's a Robinson logo. Anyway, yeah, so we're, we've got a, our little spirit animal for the day. Hopefully that gets us through. I did see a robin the other day at um, the glamp site. Oh, anyway, we'll, we'll, use, we'll use powerful descriptor words off the end of the day. Um, and hopefully uh, on the day that you decide to walk this, it won't be as bad. We are hoping that the Suck Valley Way is going to be very well walked. Now, the Suck Valley Way is a looped trail. Um, and the Bear Brecken Way follows one half of the loop. So when we were looking at the brochure it does look like the Suck Valley Way other side of the loop is much more well, like much better service it's got more facilities it's got more villages it's got more picnics yeah uh, picnic benches and that kind of thing so we are going to have lunch in Bally Mo I think is the name of the town. Yeah. and we're then going to walk past Glint and there's no accommodation in the area so we're gonna wild camp tonight presumably under a tree uh, because it'll probably be the only potentially even slightly possibly ground, uh, dry spot we might find. Yeah, on the maps we saw a nice little area that's kind of foresty and besides some lakes, so hopefully that'll be nice and it's got some viewpoints. Um, so we'll probably be a little bit miserable tomorrow, but we are going to stay in a B&B tomorrow night in Bali Gar, yeah. Yeah. Galway. Yeah. So we're going to cross into Galway today, mm. finally leaving Roscommon. It feels like we've been in Roscommon forever. Basically, since the beginning of this journey. Yeah. Um, in and out, this yeah. day number seven for us, so... Yeah, day seven. Is day seven? Day yeah, seven. it is day seven, yeah. Um, not, we haven't done quite as, as far as we would have hoped at the beginning, but it's not a race. Yeah. So, yeah. Raglin. Raglin, Vamanos, Oniva, Yala. Cello. And so on, so forth. Bye. So, if anybody thinks that the Sub Valley Way is a funny name for a trail, the reason it is, is because the river that it follows is called the River Sok. The River Sok. We'll follow the river for the majority of this trail. This is the River Sok, isn't it? I think it is. So it's a tribute, definitely a tributary of it, like. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we'll double check. So far, most of the path has been like this. So we're kind of hoping that because it's a very I think it was open in 1997, so it's kind of an older path, well worn and well marketed. So hopefully, the majority of it will be like this. So far, the bits that we're on are quite well walked. It's good. It means that locals use it, as well as visitors. That has to be the river so clean. Definitely. So these must be the, the gates of the domain. Mows that way. A bit of a national road situation. 100 km per hour speed limit, but thankfully not too long. So back off road or onto smaller countryside roads. Woo! So we just walked through a lovely stretch of grass there, and now our feet are a bit wet. Your feet don't get wet walking a lot of these trails, they get wet walking through grass. But look at the old way marker, it's super old.
Yeah, back, back in the woods again. of walking in Ireland. It's wet. Trying to avoid getting your feet overly soaked because you'll be uncomfortable for the rest of the day. Right, then. There's two of them. Two of them? Two of them now. Sometimes in the middle of the bog, you know, you're not always going to be so lucky to find a handmade bench sitting in the, the side of the road. So, uh, sometimes you just got to take your brakes where, where you find them. In the middle of the road. And you were lovely. We liked you. We'll be back again. Good, 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 Galway. So on, so forth. Is there a fish in Galway? Somewhere. Yeah. So we don't want to be writing a letter to to Galway uh, County Council to be putting a welcome to Galway sign there. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense if we have a welcome to Galway sign. So far, looking an awful lot like Chris Common. <laughs> but uh, just goes to show how arbitrary borders are. Thank goodness we're not going through that field anyway. How does one dress for this type of weather? Mo there. Lovely spot. For a bit of coffee and food and everything really. Yeah, uh, we had sandwiches in the tea junction and we were looked after by two very lovely ladies. 
Yeah, uh, Sharon and Angie, I think the names are. Right. You're better at picking up names than me. Yeah, I was paying attention. Really, a uh, really cool spot. Um, and like for the sort of day that we're doing, very, very well located. Uh, Definitely so, needed it at the time. Yeah, so, no, just, you know, it's good to have somewhere to stop into. We haven't really had somewhere kind of mid walk since uh, Castle Baldwin. Yeah, like it was nice to get in out of the rain, but then the rain stopped, of course, Murphy's Law. Yeah. Soon after we got in. Two, two happy campers. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are camping tonight. We are campers, we are camping tonight. And <laughs> Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Don't know if it's drinking water, but it works. Damn. Ooh, okay, right. That went right up to my ankle. Okay. <laughs> Where we came from. Where to next? So we missed the way marker, but thankfully we were reminded to be looking for way markers by the uh, the Bread Breffney Way cycle route thingy. So we're going this way. This is not officially part of the Bear Breffney Way or the Suck Valley Way. We are just improvising. There goes our it now. Just in time for. I don't think there's a bull in here. I don't think there's a bull either. I think we're safe enough. Glad but, no but beware! So maybe it's not our fault that we missed the way marker. Way marking seems to be a bit sparse in this particular section, but the obvious infrastructure for walking is probably the way to go. So. Also, there is a, an arrow here. It says yellow. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Yellow I'd say this is probably the turn. Mm. Sometimes the hiking just defeats you. Mm. And you just need to lie down in the rain. <laughs> this is what those other YouTubers don't show you. <laughs> yeah, this is a hardcore, hardcore hiking. <laughs> this reminds me of a Keanu Reeves movie. <laughs> no! It's like, breaking point or something. Where he shoots it. No, I don't think I have either. Okay, this rain is getting heavier, and I know we have forests pretty soon, but this isn't really helping. So. Poor Rhino. No things. Mm. Here. I should eat some better. Here. Yeah, Oniva. Yeah. All right, then. Feels better. That's where my uh, high, high waisted pants are down, but it helps. Yeah. Helps with the digestion, guys. Yeah. Problem eating and digesting yeah. while you're walking. <laughs> yep. I waste the pants. Heard it here first, folks. This is the point where the path takes us into Glinsk. This path. And we're cheating. We're cheating. But um, just for our purposes this evening, we need to get to a certain point and camp tonight. And this way shaves off like up, uh, up ahead by about 300 meters or something like that. So we'll rejoin the path and it shaves off maybe like two and a half, three kilometers. Yeah, I'd say three kilometers. So we, which is a bit of a rush. No, we're not in a rush, but like. Yeah, we're, we're cold and wet and it'd be nice to get an early night and start fresher tomorrow. Yeah, and we're not feeling so great. Yeah, my, my, my leg is still sore. I'm walking anyway. 
My leg is still sore and my stomach was a bit weird back there, but I'm okay now. Yeah. I think I just needed to lie down briefly. Yeah, in the rain. In so the rain and it worked. It'll fix everything because you're like, well, lying down isn't any better than walking, so may as well get up and go. Anyway, this isn't a very well trodden path. Yeah, so uh. We'll manage it. It's only like three, four hundred meters tops. Yeah, so let's see how we get on. We'll just keep going straight. Perfect. And there's no bulls. No bulls. <laughs> This is the field we would have been passing through. We've taken our shortcut, now we're in the woods. Sure, you could be in Australia here. Who am I getting? Of course this is in Australia. Back in the way. After our short little detour, that way. So we should have come from that way. But we're Island. Yeah, good job in the old navigating there, Arno. Really, I thought I did a terrible job. You did a great job. That was fun. Yeah, a little bit muddy. If you're gonna take that, um, there's a lot of mud, especially after rain. I'd say maybe in the summer, if there wasn't that much rain, it'd be a bit drier. Um, not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> ah, you'd be grand though. You, yeah, your feet will get wet. Like. I almost lost my pole tips and my feet are more wet than they were before. So, oh. but we're camping soon. Yeah. So I can take my shoes off soon. This would be a great, yeah, this would be a great place to camp as well, wouldn't Actually, it? Actually, yeah, it'd be lovely to camp. We did consider camping somewhere right here. Like there's a few little offshoots off the trail, which will probably work out quite well for camping. Um, and I don't think too many people come out here, so you wouldn't really be bothering anyone. I'd say you could almost camp right in the trail itself. Yeah, but uh, it's pretty perfect. Yeah, pretty good. But we want to make some tracks. And yeah, we want to get closer to Craig's. Get them miles in. Hoorah! Should we not? Should we not hike, Angus? <laughs> I think there's no need for that now. No. Definitely. Stone. She's gone stone mad altogether. <laughs> I've gone woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> woo woo. Well, I suppose you have to be. <laughs> closest we've come to like a proper like kind of enchanted forest yeah it's we haven't met anybody like usually with these kinds of forests you know everybody will be out their evening walk with their dogs and their kids and there's nobody here it's like a hidden gem yeah friday evening as well you do need boots though yeah definitely need boots soggy ground everywhere everywhere Go, go the way to the floodplain. <laughs> oh, so we've decided to take our chances and go the floodway. Do you see a flood? A lovely um, standoff with a bunch of cows there. They seemed simultaneously very aggressive and uh, very afraid of us, <laughs> so not a great combination. And loads of calves in the field as well. So off we go again. Uh, the path isn't flooded at all. I think the cows are just eager to get off this gosh darn field. Okay, so obviously this is the section where it's most flooded, right beside the bridge, right beside the river. Hopefully it doesn't get any more flooded than this. But you reach a certain point where you just have to choose. Yeah, I mean my feet are already soaked. Who am I kidding? Your feet are wet. That's just... Oh, that was a lot wetter. <laughs> and it's cold. Yeah, it is, yeah. 
But anyway, look at this beautiful view of the river and the lake. How about that, huh? If I had to guess, I would say that this was pretty flooded pretty recently. Yeah, so this is our floodplain. But check out those crepuscular rays. Looks like it goes all the way up to here. Look at that. Yeah. So, yes, there is definitely a, a cause for avoiding this during times of, of flooding, but like, we didn't notice any difference until we got to the, the edge of the river itself. And, we, and even at that point, it was, you know, because our feet are already soaked. And also, I think it wouldn't have been too big a deal to have turned back at that stage. No, but having to go back to, to through that field of cows, huh? Yeah, through the field of cows is about the worst bit. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, distance-wise, it wasn't huge. No. I think it was worth coming in and checking out. There's a rope. Good morning! Good morning! Um, we wild camped last night on the bog, just off the Soak Valley Way, and now we are heading towards Craig's hoping to get a coffee. So Craig's is about maybe an hour and a half, two hours walk, maybe less, but it's all on road. It was a lovely fresh morning, uh, very very peaceful, very relaxing, the sun is shining, it's not raining. That's always a plus. <laughs> so we're winning across the board. Yeah, and looking forward to some coffee, so that'll keep us going. Now we're lo both a little bit stiff, both a little bit sore, so we'll probably focus on warming up. <laughs> yeah. So. Warming up for the morning. Um, yeah, the morning and that. then we're making it to Ballygar tonight, where we have our B&B booked at the Coffee Drop B&B. Sweet. Absolutely sweet. It'll be nice to have a bed for a change, because every time that I wake up after camping, I feel like I have a bit of a cold, but I think it's just from the condensation and the damp and the cold, but I'll probably be fine. Yeah. In uh, in an hour or so. <laughs> yeah, we're living the semi-feral life. That's it. Yeah. The wild life. Living on, living off the bog. And the B and B's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> half and half. Great spot, highly recommend. Yeah, lovely little shop here. Lovely people, lovely folk. Very nice people, all lovely very interested village. in us walking. <laughs> now, Craig's is good, quiet, quiet enough town. There I'm is. Not, but we can't complain, can we? No, 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 we can't. It has a shop, shop has a toilet. And also you can get your stamps here, for your passport. And sign a book, we signed the book. It was great. <laughs> So both Angus and I are actually really, really sore. And we both need to use the old trekking poles, um, which can make it hard to film as well. So I'm starting to just like clip the tripod into my hip belt. But it just means that there'll be a little bit less footage because either we keep walking or we stop and I undo everything. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be mostly forest, I think, for the next while. We're gonna go up to Mount Mary now and uh, there may be bulls. And Mount Mary is the highest point on the Sook Valley Way, which is not very high at 150 meters. Also, this part may be prone to flooding. It's lovely though. So we'll have to see how we get on.
Goodbye, Mucky Fields. R.I.P. shoes. These were good. Here. I was like, oh, lovely place for camping. No. Yeah. No. No. Field two. Ornit zero. When one finds opportunity to rest. Pretty sure that we don't have any more fields to trudge into after this section. We're probably only about six kilometers in. We have another 10 to go to get to Valley Gar. And because of that, I'm gonna change into my trail runners. And um, I don't know, look after this mess. I did try and clean it with some puddles. There's still some on the thing and here my sock, my poor sock, <laughs> and my leggings. Um, it's so clean under here. And then this is the other foot, which wasn't as bad. But hey, the dangers of hiking in Ireland, right? I have sold out and changed my shoes. Now we're at the top of Mount Mary. Yeah, or a little bit past the top, or maybe up there is a little bit of the top, but it's not very significant. So don't hold your breath. Yeah. I think where we were before was a lot prettier because it was kind of, I don't know, this hillside and it looked like it could have been the place where the people camped Probably, yeah. all of those years ago when a lot of them died from exhaustion after a 10 day march. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it wouldn't have been a nice place to camp up here anyways. Hey, we're up at the top. That's it. What a mount she is. She's a little mount. <laughs> Grand Woods, which is our last stretch just before we get into Ballygar. Yesterday we did a big walk. Well, we've done about like what 50 kilometers to this point. Yeah, we've probably done 50k in the last two days, and that's a lot for us. And um, with these backpacks, because we could do those kinds of kilometers before without backpacks on day trips. Yeah. And it was tiring. It was it was tough. So there's very uh, sort of heavy feeling in the air today as well. It's kind of sleepy. Yeah, it's kind of, it sort of feels like it's later in the evening than it is. I mean, it's only four o'clock now, I think, but it feels like it's seven or eight. We never did tell the story about Mount Mary. What happened up at Mount Mary, Angus? Donald Camel Sullivan Bears uh, men army, after uh, 10 days of marching straight from the Rare Peninsula, camped on the side of Mount Mary. They tried to get some food from nearby crags 
and the lads and craigs were like, nope, not getting any food from us. So with the army still camped there on the side of uh, Mount Mary, basically a lot of them froze and or starved to death and or just left and apparently settled in the area. So kind of that was sort of the end of the army. After that, I think it was just sort of um, O'Sullivan Bear and a few of his raggle taggle merry men essentially after that point, they basically his, his real followers. So uh, yeah, it was, it was, but not a particularly interesting hill. No, but, uh, not at all. <laughs> interesting history, and we were, you know, trying to think of ourselves where the where his men might have camped, or where, you know, if we were camping again, where we would camp. Yeah, I mean, it's um, I, I kind of wonder in the in like 500 years ago, was it a little bit drier back then? And it was also the dead of winter as well when they were there. Apparently, it snowed. Mm. It doesn't snow much in Ireland, so heavy snow. Oh, but yeah, um, we only have about four, maybe five kilometers tops to go. Yeah. I think this road is only three kilometers, and this road, the which is the Suck Valley Way, is four to five. But it's all through forest, so it should be nice enough. Yeah, it should be nice, and we'll probably be wandering dreamily and like thinking of a cup of tea. Yeah, and a bit. Yes, and a shower. Yeah, we're. We're, we're gonna follow the trail now. We're gonna follow the trail. That's the way we're gonna go. Oh, look, there's another one. So if you're feeling low, you know where to come. This is us now finishing. Well, well not quite finishing the Valley Way. But kind of is us finishing the Sir Valley Way, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, we'll finish in a board in town somewhere and we'll be like, yeah, it's done. Um, but essentially, this next 500 meters is our last bit of the Suck Valley Way and we will then join with the High Mini Way. Oh. I feel like an old woman <laughs> trying to cross the bridge. <laughs> are, we, are we out there or over there? Over there. So yeah, we are now finished the stuff. Well anyway, it's the end of it. So uh, officially at the beginning of the... Hi Mini, Himini. Hi Mini, Himini. Hi Mini, Himini Way. Hi Mini Way. Um, so Valley Way was very lovely, very wet. Parts of it were a little bit, mm, okay. Yeah, it's nice scenery, uh, gentle enough walking, lots of decent forest, forestry parts actually. And, yeah. Uh, and the box actually is really nice too. It was quite varied. I like yeah. that about it. Um, yeah. Kind of goes through farmland, bog, river, a bit of everything really. Yeah. And it only took two days, which was the, good. The part of it that we did anyway, as opposed to the full loop. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you could potentially do the other side of the Suck Valley Way if you wanted to, mm. but you wouldn't be passing through some of the Bera, um, the Bear Brefni kind of historical bit. Yeah, yeah. If you're just doing it for the walking, it might be worth considering doing the east side of the loop instead of the west side, which is where the Bear Brefni Way officially takes you. Yeah, because I mean, either way, you're going to end up in the same spot, but there's more facilities on the other side. There's a lot more towns with accommodation. There's a lot more places to stop. Yeah, so. And there's probably more shops and coffee spots. But yeah. I enjoyed the bit that we did. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Craig's and Ballymo, all spots you wouldn't have seen otherwise. But, uh, so yeah, we're going to be on the uh, I went to
was lovely. Great. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good and stuff. now we're going to start the Hymeny Hymeny way because we forgot to do this yesterday. And, uh. Yes, we're doing it now. <laughs> oh, I thought I charged you. I was kind of hoping I'd get a shot of her walking across the bridge there, but sure. This here is an example. Now you can tap on it, by the way, um, to, to focus. No, sorry. <laughs> tap on the screen and it focuses. All right, I thought I had to tap on the mushroom to make it grow more. Is your filthy or no? It's like you, it's like you walk through the last, uh, the last field using your head. What happens when you pee in the woods? Mm. More like the muck valley way. <laughs> Great piece of land here. Yeah. We applaud you. <laughs> we salute you. When you're struggling with banana storage. Our sponsors. Fife's. Oh, jeez, you got hummus pea chips. Oh. I did, yeah. Ooh, you got more than the finest hummus pea chips one will get. Come, yeah. come to Craig's. So we've made it to the top of Mount Mary. No, we haven't. We haven't? No, the top is up there. Oh. We're not at the top. Oh. We're on Mount Mary on the side of it. Oh, I thought we were in the top. No. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna put this away then.